everyone so today's recipe is going to be some mouth-watering coconut curd fish yes in some creamy coconut curd sauce it's flavorful it's absolutely delicious so right here i have some beautifully washed kingfish washed down nicely with some limes first i'm going to season with some salt some black pepper and you could use any fish or seafood season you have also i'm going to add some curry powder yes and i'm also going to add some a bit of my green season blend which consists of blended skeleton and thyme garlic and onion and some pimento peppers so flavorful now you want to make sure both sides of the fish are nicely saturated with the season also you could use any type of fish for this recipe salmon is great as well so now that these kingfish steaks are nicely seasoned now to my pot over medium heat i'm going to add a bit of cooking oil also i'm going to add a few cloves of garlic to give the oil that delicious garlic flavor now in with the fish pieces and i'm going to fry these for about one minute on each side you really don't want to overcook your fish remember they are also going to simmer in some coconut curry sauce So now that these are nicely done and I'm trying to restrain myself from pecking at them, I'm just going to remove them from the pot. So now to the same pot with all that leftover flavor. I'm going to saute some garlic and onion just for about 30 seconds so they could release their flavors. Now in with some curry powder. Yes, and I'm going to allow this to toast a bit under the lowest heat, maybe for about two minutes, waking that beautiful aroma from the curry grains. Yes. Now I'm going to add two cups of coconut milk and I find it's a bit thick, so I'm just going to lose the texture by just rinsing the can with some water. And you want to make sure this coconut curry sauce is flavorful. So now in with some salt, along with some of the same season that you use to season the fish. And I almost forgot this leftover seasonings from the fish. In with that as well. And at this point, this is absolutely delicious but now i'm going to cover this down under the lowest heat and i'm going to allow this to simmer for about five minutes so the curry could cook a bit now after simmering this is thick this is rich now for added flavor i'm going to add some sweet peppers or bell peppers and i want these to release their flavors but at the same time i don't want them to become overcooked and mushy I want them to retain their texture so i deliberately leave this for last now back in with the fish you're going to be gentle you really don't want to break these fish apart now you're going to cover these in coconut curry sauce so they could absorb all the flavors yes so now lastly i'm going to add some fresh thyme and a whole scotch bonnet pepper and i'm going to cover this once again maybe for about three four minutes for the most And there you have it, coconut curd fish. This was absolutely, absolutely delicious. The sauce was creamy. It was very flavorful. I'm going to serve this over some hot buttery rice, but you could have this with whatever you like. I just want to thank you so very, very much for watching. And please remember, if you like this video, do not leave without clicking the like button.